what's going on everyone i'm Luis ortiz i don't have that pirate action anymore <laughs> these two gonna test me quite a bit uh basically they're gonna run a uh a biopsy to figure out what the deal is they're assuming that i have an either an autoimmune disease or something i don't even know but i'm not trying to worry about that right now because we're gonna go ahead and take a look at this That is the Lone Star Grill's main chamber grill insert for the 24 by 40, 48, 42, whatever the case may be. Uh, but basically it converts your, your smoker into a charcoal grill. I'm going to go ahead and show you the five things that I learned from owning this thing for quite some time. Let's go. So number one guys, if you have your tuning plates, this is going to be very important for you. Now, why I say this is because if you look at this spot right over here, these two spots right over here and this spot over here basically when the tuning plates are installed you're gonna have to remove them in order to go ahead and use this right so in order to put the tuning plates back to wherever you dialed them in you have to make these little holes well not holes but little markers like this one right over here these two right over here this one right over here and basically what that does is that if you have them fine-tuned and everything it'll give you a good location as to where to put them back after you're done using this you know you remove all the tuning plates you do all this good stuff do it but by the time you come back in you're gonna be like oh man where did i do where did i install the tuning plates it's back to square one so that i can go ahead and dial them in i don't use tuning plates anymore so this is not going to be an issue for me but for those of you guys that want to keep using the tuning plates, this is going to be a great thing for you guys to go ahead and use. Number two, and this is going to be one of the biggest ones that it took me a bit for me to go ahead and learn. But check it out. Normally, whenever I do uh, grilling or whatever on any grill, I usually just tend to go ahead and put the coals in here and spread them out. You know, just the dash. However, with this thing, if you put like a good, decent pile in here, what's going to end up happening is this. Dun, dun, dun. yeah it's not good man you don't realize how hot this thing gets if you put it all into the center and you close up the lid you close down the vents and everything and this thing will still get piping hot so one of the best things that i could uh do was spread them out to basically where it's just one lump charcoal per grate right i mean per little square photo or square inch or whatever you want to call it for a little for the real estate right you kind of like just want one of these on the grate you don't really want to pile them up right if you do that it's going to get incredibly hot and you really don't want that man i'm telling you right now i this happened to me so please keep that in mind and do not make the same mistake that i did that leads me to uh, number three grease right anytime that you do grilling chicken fajitas or whatever the case may be this is going to be incredibly important all right so when you're grilling chicken sausage fajitas whatever the case may be all the grease comes down in here the issue lies where there is no drain at all on this thing once the grease is, sits down here it's there to stay so what you're going to end up having to do is you're going to have to remove everything right all the charcoal that wasn't spent you're gonna remove this grate and I do not know why Lone Star Grills only added one rod right in the middle where it makes it very unbalanced you can see that right there makes it very unbalanced you're gonna to have to remove all this and then start scraping away all the fat or you know just clean it out with a power washer whatever the case may be because I'm telling you right now too if you just leave the grease right there as is and you throw in some charcoal you are going to get some flames like nobody's business you do not want that it's a shame that there's no i'll probably end up just drilling a hole on all four corners or even in the center just in the event that i'm grilling and i want some of the grease to come down i'll probably end up doing that but from the from the factory it doesn't come with it so keep that in mind guys the fourth thing that i learned from this thing is fire management and it's it's gonna be a little bit more different than a Weber you know um, it's gonna be a lot different than a Weber or a Kamado or any other you know regular charcoal grill right it's gonna be a little bit different and I'll tell you why so with the fire management you are gonna use this as your intake 
and obviously the exhaust right over here right so you cannot use this like the offset smoker you can't run the intake and the exhaust wide open because your temperatures will go sky high right what i like to do is i like to leave this kind of like in the middle right just like that and same thing with this right around there and that gives me pretty good temps you know so that i can go ahead and grill the food without it getting over overly hot one of the things too to keep in mind is that i would put more of the meat towards this end and why i say this is because you'll notice real right away you open up the lid and you're going to see that the flames are flowing this way because this is where your intake is coming from right so your flames are coming over here this way so not a lot of the you would think that a lot of the food would start and end up um getting grilled on this side but that's not the case the flow of the airflow is going this way so i even if you have charcoal whatever the case may be in here most of the flame from right over here is going to be towards over here so i would end up starting to put the the food on this side if you have to put everything over here just make sure that you have, you have a little bit more charcoal on this side and you'll be all right it won't do it it won't perform as good as on this side it'll still give you some really good grill action right over there so the last one is going to be if you are running out of charcoal how do you add more what do you do well in my case i'm gonna show you exactly what i do you can do it a little bit different you can do it your own way or whatever but this is what i do so say that my fire is dying down it's it's pretty bad or whatever the case is you know i don't have any temps so what i end up doing is i get the grill i mean i get the grate right the grate that's over here i bring it back over here i come in and i end up putting putting a split right over here putting a little log right over here let it burn down it gets down a little bit more then i put some right over here i try and not put any in the center because uh, again when you do all that when you lump it up right over here the temperature is going to get sky high but i pull the grate out i start adding my splits you can add charcoal too the only thing is that you know when the charcoal starts up and you get that charcoal smell or whatever when it's first lighting up you'll get that taste a little bit right so i end up just getting some really dried up um, logs put them in here they catch real quick no problem that's how i do things man you guys can do it different ways maybe you guys have wood that is overly dry for smoking and it'll catch up too quick just put them in there use them for this you'll be all right so the last bit that i have for you guys is is this thing worth it is it worth the extra money i think it's like an extra 200 bucks if i remember correctly prices of steel might have gone up or something i can't remember but somewhere around there so is it worth the price i'll say this guys i've never really used it a whole lot i use it here and there i mean i got a kamado joe that i use for you know for when it's just my wife and i however when i have people come over you know for fights or for you know football games or for whatever this thing is pretty awesome because it takes up a lot i mean it can cook up a lot of real estate man and you do a lot of chicken you can feed a whole bunch of people with it right you can do all that good stuff grilling it my kamado joe can't do that you know it only has 18 inches right the rec tech can probably do it same thing with the pit boss but when it comes to actually grilling it, it it just it just can't do it it can't it can't beat charcoal or wood or whatever the case you're using it can't just it can't beat that flavor and it doesn't have the real estate to go ahead and do it right so is it worth it i think for me it was i think for me it was because even though you don't use it a whole lot even though you have to clean it a lot you know with the grease and everything even though you have to do all that good stuff if you have people or even if it's once every two months or whatever the case is you'll be real happy to have it man because you can just pull out the tuning plates after you already drilled all your good stuff you can pull all that out uh you can put this thing in there and then you can run your fire you can light up some good charcoal and have have a good time man i mean it's it's grilling it doesn't get any better than that if you're feeding a whole bunch of people this is thing this thing is going to be pretty awesome otherwise if i were in the kamado joe i'd be doing maybe like four chickens at a time right instead i can do a whole bunch of chicken in here man i can do fajitas i can do all kinds of stuff with it in there so i guess if you're already looking for a lone store grills and you want to add this option it wouldn't be a bad thing to go ahead and add 
some people I've, I've read that they rarely if ever use it and I mean there's gonna be a point there's gonna come a time where they're gonna be like oh you know what I think this will be a good time to, for me to go ahead and use it and and once you do it's gonna be definitely worth it for me I use it maybe two to three times a month maybe a little bit less ever since you know my ideal but um, I plan on keep using it and those are the things that I learned uh, from owning this thing guys so hopefully this this helps you if you're in the fence about buying not buying or how to control the fire or do all that stuff right I hope this video helped you, helped you out until next time guys be sure to go ahead and like subscribe we'll see you in the next one later